Hey folks, Super Dude here, speaking for Brother Jim, God's Bible Myth Buster, are you ready to bust some myths, you may have in your Christian life? I hope so, because, the Apostle Paul, described the religious myths he believed, before his conversion to Jesus, as dung, in comparison to the divinely inspired truths, of rightly divided scriptures. If you don't know what dung is, frankly folks, it's animal or human waste, the byproduct, of the body, after it has used all of the nutrition, from the food a person, or animal eats. In other words folks, it's the worthless part, that you want to get out of your body, before it starts to make physical problems for you. So then, the religious, but unscriptural ideas and beliefs, and practices, of Paul, a non-believer, in the one and only, scripturally based Christianity, Paul, after his conversion, was disgusted with, because, he saw it for what it really was, a disbelief, in the scriptural revelation of God, as taught, in the wisdom-filled practice, of rightly dividing, that is, correctly understanding, and teaching the real truths, from God's word, plus, nothing. A diligent, wise Christian, strives, by God's enabling grace, to add to, and take away, absolutely nothing, from the teachings of the Bible. The unwise practice, of adding to, or taking away, from the Bible's true teachings, leaves you, and those you teach, with something less than the revelation knowledge, God desires you and me, to believe in. Just like constipation, causes problems in the physical body, the dung of religious, but unscriptural teachings, cause spiritual problems, in the church, the body of Christ. Jesus, rebuked the religious Pharisees, who many in that time, believed were the best Bible teachers, by the way, by telling them, that they were setting aside God's true, scripturally based teachings, and accepting many of the Pharisees, religious teachers, unscriptural ideas, instead. These wrong teachings, were, at best, based on purely human logic, and at worst, were actually doctrines of devils, as the Bible, repeatedly warns all born-again Christians against. Brother Jim, has been a student, of God's rightly divided word, since, shortly after his conversion, in 1967. So, folks, here is a little, of the wrong teaching, that is sadly very popular, in some denominational churches. Here's a quote, from an anti, word of faith, professing Christian. After this wrong teaching, Brother Jim, will finish up today's teaching, by correcting this, or these errors. Here's the wrongly divided word. Quote. Okay, to save time, I'll just tell you, that opponents of revelation knowledge, assume, that word of faith believers, are getting their beliefs, from outside of the Bible. In other words, we are adding our unscriptural ideas. But, frankly folks, these people, are assuming, that the leading word of faith Bible teachers, such as Finus Dake, and Kenneth Hagin, that's spelled H-A-G-I-N, are getting our teachings, from our own imaginations. But, no, we are getting our teachings, from the wise use, of a concordance, and putting scripture, with scripture. Let's say, a pastor quotes five scriptures in his sermon and teaches correctly. Another pastor, teaches on the same subject, and quotes and explains, 15 scriptures correctly. This pastor, has given 300 percent or more, scriptural truth, than the first speaker. This, is a revelation, that Satan, really doesn't want Christians, to understand. Okay, please think about this truth. See you next time. God bless.